San Mateo, officially the municipality of San Mateo, Tagalog, Bayan ng San Mateo, is a first-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 579,925. It is bordered by Quezon City to the west, the cities of Marikina and Antipolo to the south, and to the north by the municipality of Rodriguez. San Mateo is approximately 24 kilometers 15 miles east of Manila and 11 kilometers 6.8 miles north of Pasig, the former provincial capital of Rizal. Conurbated to the urban agglomeration of the Greater Manila Area, San Mateo is one of the fastest growing municipalities in Rizal Province, according to the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority MMDA, and the provincial government of Rizal. San Mateo is the home of the miraculous image of Our Lady of Aranzazu, Nuestra Señora de Aranzazu. Geography The town lies in the Marikina Valley. The Marikina River runs through the western portion of the municipality, while Nanka River runs through the south, bounded by Marikina City. San Mateo has lush trees in other high areas. The municipality has many spacious parks, tree-lined streets and roads, and industrial zones. Most of the municipality is composed of residential areas, whereas the eastern side is composed of high plateaus and foothills of the Sierra Madre Mountains. Barangays There are 15 barangays in San Mateo. History in his book Conquistas de las Islas Filipinas, Father Gaspar de San Agustin records the municipality of San Mateo in 1572 as a town annexed to Pasig. He described the inhabitants as fierce but friendly and of quiet disposition. Father Juan de Medina, in his account Relación de los Conventos y Pueblos Fundados por los P.P. Agostinos, likewise put 1572 as the year the parish of San Mateo was established. However, according to Miguel López de Legazpi, the first Spanish governor in the Philippines 1571-1572, it was Juan de Salcedo, his nephew who discovered the site of present-day San Mateo during one of his expeditions to Manila from Cebu. Accounts say that two years before he came to Manila from Cebu, Legazpi sent Salcedo along with 150 soldiers to prepare the inauguration of the city of Manila. It must have been Salcedo who discovered the town before Legazpi inaugurated Manila on June 24, 1571. Still, another account was that of Father Cavada, an Augustinian priest, who said that the first chapel in the country, having the patron Saint Matthew was built by the riverside in 1596 south of the present Poblacion of San Mateo which was then only a barrio of Tondo. Saint Matthew thus gave to the town its name when the chapel was set up during his feast day. What may be gleaned from the above accounts somehow is that San Mateo was discovered sometime in 1571, while it was in 1596 when it acquired its first church. It may be true, too, that the parish of San Mateo was set up in 1572. Aside from the controversy over the date of its discovery or creation, there is also uncertainty as to how San Mateo acquired its name. According to one account, when the Spaniards made a reconnaissance of Manila's environs, they came upon the San Mateo flood plains and became enamored by the natural beauty of the place. They decided to establish a community in the place and one day, a Spanish scribe happened to stand on a mound with a book on one hand and a pen on the other. His statue-like pose prompted a companion to laugh and comment. Mui. Friend, the way you are now makes you look like Saint Matthew, referring of course to the usual way the evangelist saint is depicted in his statues. In the midst of their banter and merriment, they decided to call the place they discovered, San Mateo. Another account says that the municipality of San Mateo was so called because of its geographical resemblance to another town in Spain with the same name. As described by Paluzzi in a geographical book, this small Spanish town was near a high mountain, and, has a river that flows in its center which often floods but quickly recedes. This town is also a grazing ground for big animals and a fishing village. San Mateo is traversed by the Mali and Nanka rivers and its flood plains may have been a lush grazing area then. 
The Augustinian priests in San Mateo were later formally replaced in 1689 by the Jesuits who as early as 1637 included San Mateo as one of their missions, with the missions of San Isidro and Painan under it. The Jesuit order brought with them an image of the Virgin Mary which came from the town of Aranzazu, Nueva Vizcaya, Spain. The Jesuits were the ones responsible for building the church now located in the Poblacion since the original chapel set up by the Augustinians beside the river was destroyed during a flood. The location of the present church is in Barangay Sta. Ana and its patron saint is the Virgin Mary of Aranzazu. The original images of St. Matthew which was housed in the old Augustinian chapel has been transferred to Barangay Dulongbayan formerly Yaya, and is now the patron saint of the Barangay and whose feast day is always celebrated on September 21. Over the centuries, San Mateo has had a colorful and distinguished history. In 1639, a pitched battle ensued between Chinese rebels, on one hand and Spanish and native troops, on the other. The Chinese were defeated and retreated east to the Sierra Madre Mountains, but not before burning the town and its church. On May 16, 1687, the territory and convent of San Mateo were added to Pasig by the Augustinians, with the headquarters and residences of the missionary at Marikina, Marikina. Two years later, the Augustinians handed over the ecclesiastical administration of San Mateo to the Jesuits. In 1699, the convent of St. Augustine won in a court case against the native inhabitants with regard to a claim over a ranch in the district of San Mateo. From 1696 to 1746, the town residents rebelled against the Spanish authority in the municipality. They were forced to go to the mountains and abandon the lowland settlement. However, in 1746, the townspeople returned to the lowlands after having been wooed and persuaded by the Jesuit priests. The independent-mindedness of the San Mateo people showed itself again in the 15-year period from 1751 to 1765 when the natives rebelled against Spanish governance. The residents were ordered to surrender their weapons, but they refused. With this resistance, the Spanish government was forced to reduce the town to ruins. In 1712, the Conde de Lazariaga, the governor of the islands, sent Captain Don Lorenzo de Itoriaga together with twelve soldiers to punish Captain Pambila, a native chieftain who was reportedly inciting the residents to revolt against the Spanish government and the local Spanish priest. Captain Pambila attacked the Spanish officer, but the latter was able to parry the blow and shot the native leader dead. San Mateo with its large size was dismembered on April 27, 1871 when Captain General Izquierdo issued a decree separating the barrios of Belite, Burgos, Morang and Calapahan from San Mateo and formed them into the new municipality of Montalban, Rodriguez. During the Spanish period, there was only one public school in San Mateo and the educational advancement of the youth was very slow. There were very few feathers and the books used were limited to the religious tracts called Eton, Camia, Castiana and Doctrina Christiana after knowing how to read, most students quit school while a few who were wealthy enrolled in the friar schools in Manila. In November 1896, during the revolution against Spain, General Yanera of the Filipino forces made San Mateo his headquarters. And on August 6, 1898, San Mateo joined the revolutionary government of Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo. During the Philippine-American War, Gen. Lacerio Geronimo's guerrilla bands from the foothills of San Mateo and Montalban attacked the American troops in October 1900. However, the Filipinos were defeated. A curious twist of history occurred when during the fighting, Gen. Lawton, the famous general who captured the elusive Indian rebel named Geronimo, among his exploits, was also killed by the forces of a Filipino bearing the same name, Gen. Lacerio Geronimo. In the eyes of the Filipino people, Gen. Geronimo became a great man for killing an illustrious American general who distinguished himself during the American Civil War and the American military campaign in Cuba as well as in northern, southern and central Luzon. During the American Occupation, Act No. 137 of the Philippine Commission incorporated San Mateo into the newly created province of Rizal on June 11, 1901. 
In line with its policy of fiscal economy and centralized governance, the Philippine Commission enacted Act No. 942 in 1903 which consolidated the municipalities of San Mateo and Montalban, with the former serving as seat of government. On February 29, 1908, Executive Order No. 20 separated San Mateo from Montalban, making the former an independent municipality. Its real divisions then included the barrios of Ampad, Sta Ana, Gitningbayan, Dulongbayan, Milande, Guinayang and Mele. However, due to constant development of the rural areas and the increase in population, the barrios of Gitningbayan and Dulongbayan were divided into two sections. With regard to education, it was in 1909 during the American period when public schools were opened in the country under the supervision of Dr. David Burroughs. San Mateo became one of the recipients of the benefits of the new democratized system of education when Mr. Frank Green was assigned to the town as the first school supervisor who was assisted by two Filipino teachers, namely, Jose Bernabe and Miguel Cristi. The English language was also taught in the public school. Transportation and other facilities in the municipality were increased and repaired thus resulting to more communication and exchange of goods and services. During the Japanese occupation, the Japanese army occupied San Mateo, but no battle transpired between the Japanese and Filipino forces. There were only minor encounters between the Japanese soldiers and members of the Filipino guerrilla forces. Nevertheless, some prominent residents of the town were killed and maltreated by the Japanese military on suspicion that they were either members or supporters of guerrillas. Upon their arrival in the municipality, the Japanese forces recommended the appropriation of school buildings and some big houses and used them as their headquarters. Productive rice lands irrigated by water from the main pipe of the Metropolitan Water District have also been forcibly appropriated and tilled under the direct supervision of the Japanese officials. Livestock and crops were likewise confiscated to supply the food needs of the Japanese military in San Mateo and Montalban. When the American forces landed in the north of Manila on February 3, 1945 and started recapturing the surrounding areas, San Mateo came under the line of fire of the U.S. Liberation forces was continued by help to the Filipino soldiers under the Philippine Commonwealth Army and Philippine Constabulary and local guerrilla fighters. Residents were advised by the air raid warden to vacate the Poblacion and seek refuge in Sitio Calamyong on the west bank of the Marikina River. There they built temporary shelters while the U.S. Army Air Forces bombarded the Japanese headquarters in Montalban every day. However, one afternoon a lamentable thing happened when a bomb carried by one American Air Force plane was accidentally released over the evacuation area at Sitio Calamyong. About 100 civilians died from the accidental bomb explosion. Although in the aftermath of the war the American government compensated the people of San Mateo for the war damages they sustained, there were cases when the amounts received were not considered commensurate with the sufferings endured. When municipal governance was instituted by the Spaniards in San Mateo in 1799, the town was governed by a gobernador solo who served for one year and exercised the power to appoint the Cabeza de Barangay for the same term of one year. However, there were instances when the governor solo served for two or three years. The first resident appointed to the post of governor solo in 1799 was Donato Sulit while the last one to hold the post in 1895 was Ismael Amado Jr. who incidentally continued serving up to 1905 even after the establishment of the civil government under the American regime in 1901 when he was appointed Capitan Municipal by the military governor of the United States Army Department. Republic Act No. 137 of the Philippine Commission incorporated this town into the newly created Rizal Province on of June 1901. In 1903, the Philippine Commission, in line with the policy of economy and centralization, as opposed to today, S. Policy of Decentralization enacted Act No. 942 which consolidated the municipalities of San Mateo and Montalban, with the seat of government at San Mateo. Executive Order No. 20, dated February 29, 1908 separated Montalban from San Mateo, thus formalizing the latter's status as an independent municipality. Cityhood
As early as 2016, the town Sangguniang Bayan approved Resolution No. 60, Series of 2016 requesting the Senate of the Philippines through its President, Franklin Drilon and the House of Representatives through its Speaker, Feliciano Belmonte Jr. to co-sponsor a bill for San Mateo's conversion into a city and creation of a lone legislative district. Timeline Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of San Mateo, Rizal, was 252,527 people, with a density of 4,600 inhabitants per square kilometer or 12,000 inhabitants per square mile. Economy Industries the industrial establishments found in San Mateo are classified as light to medium industries. Welding shops and motor pool are among the predominant industries found within the municipality. Other industrial establishments are relatively small scale, like leather craft and kiskizan. Moreover, agri-business establishments which include poultry and piggery do exist within the municipality. Manufacturers Various products are being manufactured in San Mateo. In fact, a group of different factories is found along Campbell Road, Barangay Gitnang Bayan 2. This includes San Mateo Rubber Corp., Nikon and Durawak Slippers, Jolly Food Corp., First Wind Corp., Slippers, and Golden Union Footwear Inc. Evans Shoes. A Coca-Cola warehouse is also situated at Paddy's Road Corner GSIS Street, Dong Tubo, in Barangay Dulong Bayan 2. San Mateo also primarily manufactures gravel and sand aggregates together with other construction supplies that are found in hardware shops distributed all over the municipality. Commerce and trade The central business district is strategically located amidst the concentration of settlements. A major commercial area starts from the vicinity of the public market, bounded by the national road going to Rodriguez, Montalban, and Street of Dong Bacal in Barangay Gitnang Bayan II. This commercial zone is a conglomeration of financial institutions, a public market, restaurants, small eateries, retail stores and the like. Another area, which may be considered as major commercial area, is within the vicinity of De Los Santos Street Corner Gen. Luna Avenue, in Barangay Ampad 1. Other commercial areas extending to St. Matthias Medical Hospital near the boundary of San Mateo and Marikina City are located near Pure Gold San Mateo, formerly the Producers Market, at Barangay Banaba and another at the corner of Paddy's Road and Gen. Luna Avenue, in Barangay Milande. SM City San Mateo along Gen. Luna Avenue in Brigi. Ampad 1 adds to the list of major commercial centers of San Mateo. This SM Supermall and the very first full-service mall of San Mateo opens on May 15, 2015 serving local residents and from neighboring areas. Further boost in San Mateo's economy is expected with the mall. Banking San Mateo has many bank branches like Banco de Oro, BDO, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Metrobank, Philippine Savings Bank, PS Bank, East West Bank, China Bank, Philippine National Bank, PNB, Premier Bank, Merchants Bank, Banco San Juan, Marikina Valley San Mateo, MBSM Bank, RCBC Savings Bank, United Coconut Planters Bank, UCPB, Banco Rodriguez, Country Builders Bank, The Real Bank, A Thrift Bank. Many automated teller machines in San Mateo are provided with security systems such as anti-crime alarms. Security guards are also monitoring the premises of the banks in San Mateo for the safety of the customers. Landmarks Diocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Aranzazu, Nuestra Señora de Aranzazu Festivals These are some of the notable events in San Mateo. Infrastructure Transportation San Mateo has a variety of conveyances that provide the residents with ready means of transportation. These are public utility jeepneys, buses, tricycles, pedicabs and UV express service are operating in the town. These facilitate the movement of people and goods to Metro Manila and nearby towns of Rizal. There are six jeepney terminals in San Mateo, San Mateo Plaza, Brgy. Pintong Bukawe, Brgy. Banaba, Pure Gold, Brgy. Salangan, AFP Housing and Tierra Monte, and Brgy. Sto, Nino, Modesta. Transportation routes passing San Mateo, are Montalban Cubao, Jeepneys, Montalban San Mateo, Jeepneys, and Commonwealth, Fulcoa San Mateo, Jeepneys through the San Mateo Batasan Bridge. 
These routes traverses Quezon City, Marikina City, San Mateo and Rodriguez, Montalban. The only way to get through Pintong Bukawe is through Marcos Highway, Cabating and Sapanit Roads in Antipolo. Long before the Manila Light Rail Transit System opened its services in Santolan in the Pasig Marikina border in the early 2000s, steam train services had once served those places in the past, even before World War II. In Marikina, there is a street named Dangbakal, also called by the names of Chu Avenue Extension, Munding Avenue, and Bagong Salang. There is also a similar Dangbakal, in the San Mateo Montalban, Rodriguez, area, and on the maps one can notice that the two roads should have been connected with each other. In fact, as the name suggests in Tagalog, these streets were once a single railway line. The two sides of the Dangbakal roads were once connected by a bridge in the San Mateo Marikina border. However, as the railroad tracks have been largely ignored after the Japanese occupation and was transformed into separate highways, the railway connection was abandoned. The old railroad tracks, called the Marikina Line, was connected from Tutuban Station in Manila, passing through Tramo, Brgy. Rosario, Pasig, coming all the way to the town of Marikina up to Montalban. On the northern end of the Dangbakal Road in Montalban is a basketball court. That basketball court which stands today, surrounded by the Montalban Catholic Church and Cemetery, was once the railway station terminus of that particular line. The present-day Santo Niño Elementary School in Marikina was said to be a train depot. And also it was said that a railroad station once stood in the Marikina City Sports Park. The Marikina line was completed in 1906, and continued its operation until 1936. It was said that the Japanese Imperial Army made use of this railway line during the Second World War. These railways were dismantled during the 1960s and were converted into ordinary roads. Today, the citizens are dependent on tricycles, jeepneys, taxis, FX, buses, and AUV. S which contribute to the everyday unusual and unbearable traffic of metropolitan Manila. Even now, there is uncertainty in the Northrail project, which links Manila to the northern provinces of Luzon, because of corruption within the project's construction. Aside from the Marikina line, two other lines have existed before but are now removed permanently. First is the Cavite line, which passed through Paco, Parañaque, Bacor and up to Naic, Cavite. Completed in 1908, its operation continued until 1936. Second is the Antipolo Line, which passed through Santa Mesa, Mandaluyong, Pasig, Cainta, Taytay, up to Antipolo near the Hinalagong Toktik Falls. There is also a street named Dangbakal in Antipolo, where like the Dangbakal roads on Marikina and San Mateo, a railway line once existed. The railroad tracks also passed through what is now the Ortigas Avenue extension. Its operation ceased in 1917. Jeepneys are the most common form of transportation within the municipality because of its convenience and low fare as compared to other forms of transportation. Other modes are tricycles and pedicabs which are used mainly to transport people and goods where regular jeepney routes are not available. Buses, the Marikina Auto Line Transport Corporation MALTC, buses are the public utility buses that mainly operate in San Mateo. They operate ordinary type buses, and newly acquired air-conditioned buses which provide safe travel to passengers. There are some private buses that transport people who work at the Fortune Tobacco Plant and other nearby factories in Marikina City. Power Power services in the town are provided by the Manila Electric Company, Inc. Maralca, except in the mountain barangay of Pintong Bukawe. There were 23,189 customers in San Mateo as of March 1999. Of these, 27,115 are 95.37% residential customers while commercial, industrial and streetlights number 971, 4.19%, 36, 0.15%, and 67, 0.29%, respectively. The municipality of San Mateo had a total demand of 55,355 MW in 1998. San Mateo Mini Hydro Power Plant 
A 2.46 MW mini hydro power plant is on the way to start its operation by 2016, the projected year of completion of the spearheading company Hydrotech Renewables, Inc. of Germany, along San Mateo River, part of Marikina River. The company has already obtained certificate of non-coverage from the Department of Energy which permits to proceed with its construction. This hydro project is one among the eight hydro power application projects of Hydrotech in the northwestern Rizal Marikina area which will effectively contribute a combined capacity of 25 to 30 megawatts of environment-friendly and clean energy to the Luzon grid or Maralca franchise area. Flood events within the locality are also expected to be reduced with the upcoming hydro power plant. Water The main source of the municipality's water supply are deep wells, pump wells, operated by Manila Water, open wells, springs and other ground water resources. Some of the elevated parts of the municipality are under watershed protected areas since the topography is characterized by rolling to mountainous terrain. From 0.65%, San Mateo's water sanitation reached 100% on 2006 through the operation of Manila Water. North Manila Septage Treatment Plant completed and started operating on May 2007. The Manila Water North Septage Treatment Plant is located in Barangay Gitnang Bayan 2. This treats 586 cubic meters of septage a day. Sto, Nino Salangan water supply project about 42,000 residents are expected to benefit from continuous water supply once Manila Water's P320M water supply project in San Mateo, Rizal gets completed. The project, dubbed as Sto, Nino Salangan water supply project, is divided into two phases, phase 1, which will serve barangays Gulad Malaya, Sto. Nino and portion of Salangan, and Phase 2, which will serve the whole of Salangan and the elevated areas of Parang and Marikina. The project involves the construction of pumping station and reservoirs and the laying of 25 kilometers of water lines including main lines and will benefit 12 existing subdivisions occupying a total land area of 27 hectares. Started in October 2007, the water project is expected to provide ample water supply to meet the 15 to 20 million liters per day MLD demand of the more than 13,000 households in the area. San Mateo Sanitary Landfill in 2008, a proposal to build a 200-hectare sanitary landfill within the jurisdiction of two barangays was met with resistance by several environmental groups. The proposed landfill was to be constructed on ground area within a protected forest, bucking opposition by environment activists. The operator of the San Mateo Waste Dump is ready to give it a go. Andy Santiago, president of the San Mateo Sanitary Landfill and Development Corp., said it has given the green light for the 19 hectare facility in Rizal Province to do business. Communication telecommunications serve as a major link, within the sub-sectors and among other sectors of the economy, in the population centers and hinterlands. It also serves as a catalyst for growth and development. Telephone fixed landline and wireless, and DSL broadband internet services are being provided by the Philippines Long Distance Telephone Company, PLDT, PT&T and Digital Telecommunications Philippines. While cellular phone services are provided by Globe Telecom, Smart Communications, and Sun Cellular. Education There are public and private education institutions including colleges in San Mateo. High schools colleges and universities Eastern Star Institute of Science and Technology ESIST, TESDA accredited ICCT Colleges San Mateo Municipal College formerly Pamantasan ng Bayan ng San Mateo, St. Matthew College. Special Education Manila Christian Computer Institute for the Deaf MCCID. Notable people Makasig Morales, child actor of ABS-CBN and 2005 Little Big Star Little Division Second Honor Jonalyn Byrate, versatile singer, artist in ABS-CBN, formerly from GMA Network, and first Pinoy pop superstar grand champion. 
Brian Quatoriano, veteran broadcaster, commentator, newscaster, radio disc jockey of DWWW 774, formerly station manager of Home Radio 97.9 and Wish 107.5, formerly operations manager of DWIZ 882 ALIW Broadcasting Corporation, and formerly a disc jockey of Piñas 95.5, YES FM 101.1, Star FM 102.7. Jennifer Barrientos, official representative of the Philippines in Miss Universe 2008. Dr. Rodolfo John Ortiz Teope, one of the 20 most outstanding professionals of the Philippines 2012. Ria Santos, TV host, newscaster of GMA Network. Cesar Apolinario, TV host, newscaster of GMA Network. Kim Rodriguez, TV Young Actress of GMA Network Lieutenant General Delphin N. Bangat, Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff, four months in 2010 General Eduardo Año, 48th Chief of Staff of Armed Forces of the Philippines, current DILG Secretary Sister Cities These are the municipalities sister cities or municipalities Local Antipolo, Rizal Marikina, Metro Manila Quezon City, Metro Manila Rodriguez, Rizal Zamboanga City, 2012 Valenzuela, Metro Manila, 2017 See also Legislative districts of Rizal References External links Official website of the Municipality of San Mateo, Rizal Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Batang San Mateo Biking Philippines